In this video, we'll go over how the referral feature works in OSTicket. Referrals are a helpful way for departments, teams, or agents to be granted limited access to a ticket without owning or being assigned to the ticket's department. Let's take a look at how it works. In order to be able to use referrals in the system, make sure you have the correct role permission set up. First, make sure a role in your help desk has referrals checked. For this example, we'll look at the All Access role. Next, make sure that as an agent, you have access to a department with the role we just set up. For the purpose of this tutorial, let's also take a look at an agent to refer a ticket to. We want to make sure we choose an agent with only access to one department. Now that we can confirm we have the correct access set up, let's go ahead and refer a ticket. You can find the referral option on a ticket in the More drop-down. From here, you have the option to refer a ticket to a department, agent, or team. For this example, let's refer the ticket to the agent Adrian2 who only has access to the sales department. Now that the referral has been made, let's see what the ticket looks like for Adrian2. Note that tickets assigned to an agent will still show up regardless of department access. As you can see, this agent has read-only access to the ticket. With referrals, you also have the ability to maintain referral access to a ticket during transfer to another department. This will make it so that even if the ticket is moved to a department the agent does not have access to, they will still have read-only access to the ticket. Let's test that out now. Now, as you can see, this agent is still able to access the ticket even though they cannot access the support department. We can also manage the referral to make changes as needed after the transfer is done. The last thing we'll go over in this tutorial is how to refer a ticket to a department during ticket creation. This will happen if we send an email to two different department emails when we create a ticket. When we look at the referrals on this ticket, 
you'll notice that the maintenance department was automatically referred to the ticket. That wraps up this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more OS Ticket tutorials. Check the links in the description for the latest OS Ticket news. As always, thanks for watching.